Hey y'all, Shelly here with a tip for hospice leaders. So I'm continuing on talking about manageable caseloads because we've established that that's the most important thing to the hospice nurses. I would be remiss in this discussion if I didn't do a video on patient acuity. So we did ask the hospice nurses if acuity is considered when determining their caseloads and 27% said yes and 73% said no. I will tell you that acuity in hospice is very different than it is anywhere else in healthcare. So basically what acuity means is we're just determining how much time is required to see this patient and to meet all of their needs. So in the hospital, we're just looking at physical mostly, but in hospice, we have to look at three different areas. So we're gonna look at physical, what do I need to do to this patient? What physical things am I going to be doing? Then we're going to look at demographical, which is much more than just how far away that patient is. And then thirdly, we're going to look at emotional acuity, not just the needs of the patient, but also the needs of the caregiver. Because sometimes the caregiver's emotional needs can take even more time than the patient's. So we have to put these three things together and determine how long it's gonna to take to meet that patient's needs. Now I have actually done this in a tool where you can just plug in the numbers and it will give you an acuity. I'm not putting that whole tool here because it would get complicated. But if at the end, I will share with you how you can reach out to me and I'll share the tool with you. But let me show you what it looks like to do the acuity on a patient or during a day when we count acuity. So as you can see here, the first patient over here is an acuity level of three. The second one's an acuity level of two, and the third one's an acuity level of one. These are relatively common patients that we see in hospice, and these are actually all patients that I have taken care of. Th together, these three patients are gonna take six hours and 15 minutes to do all the care they need, to meet all of their needs, and to document all of that. Six hours and 15 minutes. Now, you also have to consider that your nurse is going to have to eat and probably stop for a couple of bathroom, bathroom breaks. So let's say that takes another 45 minutes or so. So all together, we got seven hours to see these three patients. You could probably squeeze in one more patient that's an acuity level of one, and that would be putting your nurse right at eight hours for that day. So it seems like that's only four visits in a day. And I know that doesn't sound like very much. And I know that that does not meet a lot of what we have established to be productivity requirements for our nurses. This is another one of those areas though in hospice where it looks good on paper, but doesn't really translate because if we are trying to put all of our patients into one point, it's not gonna work. And what happens is one of two things. Either the nurse tries to see all of their patients that they have to see and they are working 13, 14 hours a day and they just get burnt out and then they quit. And then you start that staffing cycle that's so hard to get out of. The second thing that can happen is the nurse is not able to work 13 or 14 hours a day. So they're having to cut their visits as short as they possibly can. The patient's needs aren't being met. Your, your quality scores drop, your satisfaction scores drop, your patients revoke hospice or transfer to another hospice, or you've got the constant calling of the, the um, EMS and going to the hospital, going to the emergency room over and over. So all of that gets very expensive. You know, we've talked about live discharges and how much, how close Medicare is looking at that. So your live discharges are gonna go way up in this case. If patient has a high acuity and the nurse does not have enough time to meet their needs because they have too many visits in that day. So as I said, I have a tool that is very simple to use. I'm happy to share with you. Just give me a call, reach out. You can you can get go to my website, put in a request and we can set a time to talk and I'll share the tool with you and go over how to use it. And so I hope this was a helpful tip. If there's anything you'd like to talk me, you'd like me to talk about, please let me know and I would share it here. And y'all remember, if we work together, we can change our world.